What's up, guys? I am Fang Soccer, and we are back today on the Five a Day account. Um, I'm really happy for today because we actually got a good deal. It wasn't in the bazaar, it was actually a little pop up sale that they had. It's one of those pop up sales that you know you you level up some heroes a little bit, and all of a sudden, just poom, there it is right after the fact. Um, sometimes they're twenty dollars, ten dollars, but this happened to be a five dollar one, and it was really nice because it has four level eight insignias. And guys, if you watch this video enough, you know I've been saying I, I need insignias on these heroes, because um, a lot of these heroes only have like a level one or a level three, so we we really need insignias. Even if even if they're horrible insignias, we need them just for the stat boost for their attack and their health. Because that does make a huge difference. Let me go ahead and claim this real quick here. Again, this was not from the bazaar. It was just a little pop-up sale. And I'll show you why I did not go for the bazaar. Um, the bazaar, all they had was skins. And it's not good. The only thing in here I really saw that it was good was Pumpkin Duke, Athene, and um, Walla Walla. Rockno, yeah, he can be good, but he's not a hero we really use right now. I don't think I've ever used him yet so far. Um, is it? Let's see, Grimfiend. Uh, we we have used him before, but not really much on this account, so I really don't see it. And of course, uh, Minnow. We don't even have him. It's gonna be a long time before we do have him, so that's just kind of uh, yeah, not worth it all. So I did not buy anything there. Let me look real quick. Did not see anything there. Let me check. Double check the events. Chris, all right. Um, if that other pop-up had not come up, I would have bought this one. Um, and part of it was because of these uh, Watcher towers. Um, I think that'd be a good little bonus for this account because we have not upgraded our towers yet. Um, of course, level two hit primed heroes would be nice. And then basically the you know 200 uh, three, with, uh, 200 skill orbs with 30,000 XP, and of course the shards would be really nice for all of all together for like three bucks. Um, so it's not not a bad little resource pack basically. But because of that, and I'll show you here in the warehouse, we got these four insignias. And let me tell you, I was really 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 happy for Flame Guard and uh, Life Drain. Really, really happy for those two. You get right into our heroes here. Um, all of our heroes that we are currently using are inscribed to 100, so that they can all take them right off the bat. Like a little Nick, he's got a level two life drain. Let's see, we're not using Michael. He's got a level one revive. Anubis has War God. With this one little uh, insignia that just I don't even. It's the only thing I really had, to be honest. I see, I, but I have not had a hard time keeping him alive for the most part. Sasquatch, he's got a Scorch. I see, Spirita has a, the uh, Zealous Drive, which I actually really like. I don't want to get rid of that. Uh, Pumpkin Duke, I'm ecstatic for this insignia. I do not want to touch this at all. I want to leave that on him because we do not have Empower. I think Empower would be better, but. Again, we don't have it. All we have is the uh, tenacity, which I think has helped a lot in keeping him alive. Absolutely. Uh, see, Walla Walla. He's got the zealous drive. I don't know if I want to put flame guard him on him or not, because so far he's been staying alive. Um, so I'm not sure I want to take that away. Um, Spirita. She's got the flame guard and the zealous drive. Um, she's not a of theme. And of course we have Serena with the level 7 revive and the level 1 flame guard. Uh, let me just look real quick what heroes we are currently running for Insane Dungeons. Alright, I think I'm going to... Uh, let me know if you guys think I'm doing this wrong or if I should put these on different heroes. But I'm going to go ahead and put... Take this one off. Uh, go back there. I'm going to go ahead and put Heaven's, uh, Heaven's Wrath on him. 35% chance to stun three nearby enemies for two seconds when attacked. Cool down is three seconds. Um, 
the main reason I'm putting this on is got a 3,700 3,700 attack bonus and almost 60,000 extra health. That's a really nice uh, bonus. Um, I can't put his destiny up at all, but that's currently where he's at right there. Let's see. Uh, I'm thinking life drain for little Nick. Either life drain. I'm not sure. Do I want life drain? What, what is the stat on life drain? Restores 15% with each attack. Flame guard deflects 45% of damage taken. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put flame guard on him. I'm not sure if that's the best. I, I don't know for sure. Um, Serena, I'm not sure. Things got yeah. Don't want to change that. I'd love to have Flame Guard on on uh, Walla Walla, but he's already got the Zealous Drive. Um, and I think that work is working out really good for him right now. Hopefully, one day we get to Zealous or uh, Flame Guard for a skin, uh, maybe even in a power. Uh, let's see, and we are not running Serena, right? Let me let me check real quick. All right, right now we are not running Serena. Uh, all right, let's get right back in here. Let's get the crest they, they need. I'm not using Sasquatch. I'm not using Michael at the moment. He's got the flame guard. You know what, I'm not sure. Do I even have any more that I want to change? Berserk, which normally would, would be pretty good on Pumpkin Duke if we had it maybe for like a talent or something. Um, but I'm not going to take that insignia off uh, Pumpkin Duke. I think that's huge. Um, 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 who do I want to throw that on? Let me let me run with that. I, I may that may actually work out good for us the way it is right now and I may stop and think but who else I might want to put that life drain on because I'm not sure yet basically we're gonna run this and see basically see who dies <laughs> um, whoever dies we're gonna know that's who we need to put it on and so that's where we're, we'll go from there if you guys know me at all you know I like to basically drop them all and just kind of see what happens to me, that's the most fun. I'm not, I'm not crazy strategic. I like to see, basically, just drop them off, see what happens, and then from go from there, say, all right, what do I need to change, and then then get strategic. Cause some, there's something about just dropping them all and watching them go crazy, and it's like, yeah. <laughs> and then you drop them all, and then within three seconds, they're all dead, and you're like, you're just looking like, oh my gosh, what just happened? <laughs> oh, that's me, guys. That's me. Let's go ahead and get these last ones hired. Alright, got those hires. Do we have any uh, magic? We do not have... Oh, I do not want that one. Just the magic. Alright. And I am trying to level these up as much as I can. We're currently still at 3.46 uh, million gold. Still working on these. Uh, I need more hammers. But once we get those, we can start double evolving. All right, we have 14 tries. Of course, we're only going for, if we can get two, I'll be happy. I have not looked at this, so I do not know what I'm going into. Or no, I, I did yesterday. And I'm thinking thinking right here from the side basically right right there I'm thinking let's see here let's throw that down throw the mecha here for the heroes let's see if they can stay alive 
see a whole bunch of heroes dead. There we go. There's that pumpkin proc. That's what I wanted. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> and as you can see, pumpkin up there in the left corner, you can see he was proccing good, and that that's why I keep that on him, because that just works so well on him. Um, I think Empower would be good as well, because that would be consistent, not relying on it being attacked, but being, being, uh, that's all we got, all we have, that's what I'm using. Uh, let's see, go ahead and get... Again, guys, let me know in the comments what you think, if I should uh, switch something up differently, uh, especially with the new dungeons come up, because the dungeons are going to get harder and harder. Um, we may be able to fly through all of Insane Dungeon 3, I don't know, uh, but we won't know until we actually uh, give it a shot. Alright, we did not lose anybody, so let's get right back into it here. Insane Dungeon 3 2. Well, this was a little bit interesting. Oh, we got Atlantic Horse and all ends. Ooh, yeah, this is interesting. I'm going to take a chance. I don't know for sure if this is going to make a difference. Again, I dropped Anubis first, just kind of the tankiness. Maybe I should adopt Pumpkin Duke, I'm not sure. Right, taking damage. Okay, all heroes appear to be dead. And we are blowing right through this. Nice. So that does seem to definitely seem to have helped on the last ones we had. Uh, little Nick died fairly quickly. We have a hard time keeping him alive in those last two, but he seems to be staying up pretty easily. Um, let me go ahead. I want to go ahead and check Insane Dungeon. Insane Dungeon 2. I want to check this last one. Oop, let me uh, redo the spells. Because I want to see if, what the difference is. On the last one, Little Nick dropped uh, right away. Or not necessarily right away, but he did drop. I don't fully remember where I dropped, but I'm going to go ahead and stick here in the right corner. So far, little Nick is not losing any health at all. He, he, all heroes are dead. He's at full health. I don't think he lost any health at all. So that that insignia has made a huge difference. Well worth the purchase. Well worth the purchase. Um, very happy they finally gave us that little bonus. Um, tomorrow we will be going after Insane Dungeon Three, number two and four. Hopefully we can get both of those without any, too much trouble. But yeah, that's where the account is right now. I don't think I have anything special to open up. Let me check real quick. I have 29 of these little heart boxes left from the balloon event. Let's see, we got two, we got three gems out of that. Nothing we really need. <laughs> Not gonna help much, but we'll take it. Oh no, that was six gems, sorry. Okay, anything else? No, not much else. Yeah, that guys, that's going to be the end of this video. That's uh, what we were able to do today in Insane Dungeon 3, 1, and 2. Tomorrow we're going to go to Insane Dungeon 3, uh, 3, and 4 and basically see if we can just sweep through that just like we did today. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. You guys have an awesome day.